handle is a piece of 18mm moisture resistant MDF. All the internal curves are made with a hole saw and then it's bandsaw to shape. Then a few minutes on the drum sander, you can see the sort of problems I'm getting with water ingress at the moment, followed by a round of a bit on the router table to make it comfortable. I just have to remember to attach it to the jig with brass screws rather than steel ones because they are below the potential saw line. The guards are made from 5mm polycarbonate. I found a plastics merchant who said it comes in 2.5m sheets at over 300 euros a pop. And when I said, ah, ah, is the same in French as it is in English, he had a rootle round in his scrap pile and found a piece of a couple of square feet and he charged me 15 euros. Phew. It's not pristine, but it will do. That's all right. We'll be when it's had a bit of a clean up of the swarf. Don't be tempted to use acrylic as it can shatter. And the front guard will get adjusted quite regularly, so I'm using a Bristol lever. I like Bristol levers, they're easy. Uh, I can't swing this right round because the working face is in the way. But that will hold it in place pretty much right up to the workpiece, or I can undo it and swing it out of the way when I'm loading stuff and need to get up to that face. There we are. The rear guard protects me when the jig is farthest forward at the end of the cut and the blade emerges from the back of the support. I'm using cylinder nuts for a strong secure fix in the edge grain of the MDF. And just in case you're wondering, the hazard warning tape does more than warn me of the danger of the blade. It also warns me of the danger of the edge of the guard. It doesn't half hurt if you catch your hand on it.